Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the Yuma Tenacity in Hitman 2. This is uh, the a Legacy L Escalation that I released yesterday. And I've decided to do this one because it's a little bit more tricky than the Eccleston Illumination. So I've decided to do this one first. And this takes place in Hokkaido. First, you have to take out Nails with the uh, well, disguise as a, a surgeon. So we're going to start as the surgeon. And we're going to bring along a lethal syringe. And we're going to let this cutscene play out and wait for that uh, surgeon to the left. To bypass us first before we come out of the uh, the blending point we're going to avoid this camera right here and uh, we are going to throw a coin just behind this helicopter real easy just throw it over there the reason why we were throwing it over there is because we don't want to distract those guards over there instead because they will come over instead for some reason i don't know why but that's just the way it is so we're going to use a lethal syringe on this uh, helicopter pilot right here and we're going to exit right here straight away. So five seconds after he dies, we can exit straight away. Boom. So level one, very straightforward, as is level two. Level two is basically identical. The reason it isn't really much to it, really, because it's basically the same. This is where uh, having five levels of an escalation really does let it down a little bit. But it says, yeah, if you are recorded by a camera, you have to complete the mission within two minutes or you will fail. Obviously, I did the same thing, used the same loadout, and yeah, you can see it playing in the background if you want to, but yeah, really, we just waited for that surgeon to go past us because he will spot us because he's an enforcer. Again, just avoided the camera while we're out here, because if we do get spotted by a camera, we've got two minutes to finish the mission, but we don't take two minutes anyway, so it's really not necessary. So this is why we're doing exactly the same thing for level two. No big deal. But uh, having played this five level of escalation, it really does make me appreciate the three levels of escalation. I really do prefer that over the five levels because these first couple of levels really don't really do anything or add anything to it. Nothing uh, amazing about it. But yeah, once we've exited the mission here, we'll get an assassin for level two as well. So moving on swiftly to level three. And this is when things get a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated. So for level 2 we have additional cameras and we have an additional target, so we've got to take out the head surgeon. So we're using the two lethal syringes, so one from the legacy pack and one from uh, the headband 2 obviously, so we're using those ones. And we're using a Krugermeyer as well, so from the mission start we're going to go and take, take out this surgeon right here, just stab him in the back. Just watch out for this camera outside, we're just going to wait for it to oscillate to the left. And we can go outside. Again, just look at the camera grid on the floor. You'll easily be able to get around that. And we are, of course, going to pull out our Krugermeyer, shoot the ground, and that's going to create a bullet distraction. And that's going to get to our nails, our helicopter pilot, over here to uh, get syringed. If we use a different pistol, I think he'll hear the gunshot rather than the, the bullet uh, distraction. But I suppose you could do it from further out if you wanted to, if you don't have the Krugermeyer. But of course, if you don't have any of this equipment that I'm using in this escalation, then feel free to use my old old uh, walkthrough I did two years ago, and that should work uh, fine, as far as I know. Uh, other people have said it works fine anyway. But I haven't even used that video as a reference. I've tried to come up with a fresh strategy for all of these. So for level four, we have to... Uh, so for this time, we have to take out the head surgeon with the helicopter pilot's disguise. Uh, the same. The other previous target is exactly the same, but so we have to take out. Uh, once we equip the helicopter pilot's disguise, we can only war wear it once and only for 60 seconds. So for level four, we're starting in the same location, but this time we're going to use one emetic syringe and one lethal syringe and bring along the Kruger mine. So with the emetic syringe from the very start, we're going to go and stab the head surgeon with the emetic syringe. Again, watch out for that camera outside. We're going to wait for it to oscillate to the left before we head on outside. So the head surgeon there is going to get sick and he's going to head to the bathroom and that's going to give us a chance to grab this guy's disguise. So we're going to create a distraction just like we did in the previous level, shooting the ground with the Krugermeyer. And we're going to stab him with the lethal syringe. Because we need to take out the pilot with uh, some kind of surgeon's disguise. Doesn't matter which one. And once we've done that, we're going to go and grab his disguise as soon as we can.
and we're going to take out this camera over here. Now we have one minute now to uh, go and take out our target. We're going to knock out this guy right here as well because we don't really want to cause him any We don't want him to cause any panic because he's just really irritating. But we have plenty of time here. And once we've uh, taken out a target, we're just going to put his disguise on. So that will cancel off the time. So you don't have to worry too much. Just going to move past this window, climb down the pipe. I wish you could just lean off the ledge and just drop down. But for some reason on this ledge, you can't do that. Even though it's not that high. But take him out any way you want to. You can drown him if you want. It doesn't really matter which way. Because no one else comes in here anyway. But indeed, once we have taken him out, we're going to go and put his disguise on. And head to the helicopter exit. We're going back this way because uh, we have one of the enforcers here at the helipad. Oh, that's so annoying. That is... Well, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's an enforcer, which is the guard, looking straight at the helicopter. So we're going to go and retrace our steps and come back this way. Doesn't really matter. Just adds a few seconds onto our time. No problem. I suppose you could get around that guard if we really wanted to with a, uh, with a, I don't know, a pistol distraction maybe or something. But once we've exited the mission there, we get an easy silent assassin for level 4. So level 5 is where things get a little bit interesting because we now have to um, do things a little bit differently, which we'll see in a second. So for level 5, we have to take out the same targets and all the same rules apply, except for we have to take out both targets with a non silenced ballistic weapons. So we're going to bring both emetic syringes, so the Mark II and Mark I. You will unlock those in Hitman 2 and the Legacy Pack. And we're going to take out, uh, first of all, to use the emetic syringe on that guy right there, which is our target. And we're going to head on outside and avoiding that camera. Avoiding that camera too. We're going to go and shoot that camera out here. I'll leave the information in the description of where you unlock these syringes and stuff. Just in case you're wondering. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take out this gardener right here. I'm going to hide him behind this uh, this little rock right here. Because the target is going to come up through this way, we don't want him to um, see the body. The reason why we're taking him out is because he will go on the helipad a little bit later on and we don't want that to happen. So we're taking him out now. Just watch out for this camera and watch out for the laser grill on the floor. Just gonna grab that crowbar, throw the uh, crowbar at this guy's head. Pick up his pistol, because that's all we needed. Because it's not a silent pistol. And head on upstairs now. Now what we're going to do is take out the surgeon that's being sick. And the reason why we're doing that is because if we uh, try and get the, the pilot's disguise right now, we won't make it in time before the guy is being sick so i think they only be sick for about a minute which is not really uh that not very long so we don't have long to get down there and knock him out but knock him out any way you want to it doesn't really matter i did try to subdue him but of course you get the inevitable punch glitch that always seems to happen in the game these days but we are going to create a pistol distraction behind this helicopter now we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't take out the gardener, because the gardener at this point in time would have been on the helipad. That's again, that's the reason why we take it, we took him out earlier. So we're going to take out this guy. We're going to stab him with the emetic syringe as well. So he, what he will do now is head on up the hill, and that's where we need to take him. So I'm going to use a bit of uh, <laughs> a bit of. I'm going to do something that isn't intended. Anyway, that's for sure. I doubt anyone would have done the same method either. But uh, I think overall it's a little bit clever. So he's going to go up the hill now. And we're going to knock him out on the hill. We're actually going to throw the crowbar at his head as well. Just in case we get any kind of punch glitch on the hill. I suppose it doesn't matter because it's a target anyway. Because it's Hitman 2 rules. So we're going to go and knock him out now. So from this point, we're going to drag his body over to this little ledge over here. Just watch out for anyone that's inside. Just going to drag him over to this ledge, and what the idea is, is grabbing his leg and pretty much just pushing him over this ledge right here. Just like trying to force him down here. You need to drag him in such a way where gravity will do the whole job. 
Because if you click dump, you will kill him, and that's not what you want. So just go ahead and drop him like that. He will fall down, and he won't die. He will just, uh, even though it, ha it sounds nasty when he drops, but he will still be unconscious. So if you dump him, you will kill him. So make sure you just drop him the way I did it. And once we've done that, you just want to drag him again and dump him through the window. And then from this room here, you can do whatever you want in this room. You can start off an explosion if you want to. No one will hear it. As long as no one's in the in the bathroom itself. So we're just waiting for the bathroom to clear. That door over there to close as well. Yep, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and shoot the pilot in the face. Grab his disguise. Shoot the sur surgeon in the face. And then grab the original disguise that you had on. And that's it. Head to the exit. It's as easy as that. No one heard that gunshot, but I can't really I can't really go into too the details to explain why. But it's just uh, no one will hear that gunshot, so don't worry about it. But once we've exited the mission, there we will get our silent assassin rating for all of the five levels of this escalation. That was the Yuma Tenacity escalation. I think overall this escalation was more difficult in Hitman 2 compared to the season one and uh, the regular one. The echo still illumination. I think that's more easier in Hitman 2 now because of the equipment they've got. But that's how you get a silent assassin or all five levels in the human tenacity. And that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos on live streams and consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of this channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details of all the different perks for each level. Again, big shout out to uh, RGL, Finn Parkinson and The Shafe for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members of the channel. Really do appreciate that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.